Of course they can. Really? Can black men jump higher? Of course. Uh, you take take uh, Michael Jordan, for example. Uh, you know, he can touch the sky. What can I tell you? I haven't seen a white man who can do that. Uh, white man can jump. Can you jump for us? Um, I do not have the right uh, footwear on right now. Uh, I, everyone can jump who has legs <laughs> and has motor function. Uh, I can. I don't know. Let's see it. I've, Let's see it. Uh, I've seen white guys jump pretty high, but I can't do it. Well, okay. to a certain degree, you know, there's always going to be that. You know, mm -hmm. when I came here, I got to play basketball. You know, I got that being 30 times. What about football? Didn't basketball, football. Yeah, didn't that happen? Do you, do you get the whole question, quote, what are you here for? Like, what's your thing? Here? Pretty much. Does that offend you at all? No, nah, not really. Yeah. I mean, this is what these prep schools are for. Your transition Yeah. Are black guys better at basketball? Um, yes. As a, general, <laughs> as a general rule, yes, but I've seen, I mean, Ryan Alexander is as good as Kenny, so <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Are black people better at sports in general? Yep. I mean, a lot of black people <laughs> do sports, a lot of people aren't. I mean, I... Uh, I think with stereo, I think you have to be very, very careful with stereotypes to, sort of, to, to, to step back and sort of view. You know, the, the context in which they were created and be careful not to stereotype them. So the difference between Mexicans and, and Puerto Ricans is they're just two different peoples culturally who are sometimes categorized into the same group or sometimes are placed into the same environment. That's the only thing that's really in common. Black Americans, they um, struggle more than us in the Caribbean because, for instance, in the Caribbean we have black presidents, black prime ministers, and we probably feel a lot more like if we gain our status quicker than them, you know? So I think there's a difference. So probably for black Americans, they, they would see racism in a way that People from the Caribbean, we might, we might see that way because I don't think we experience it as they did. I mean, like struggling for like just the rights of vote and stuff. We got it easier. Than them, you know? In the West Indies, on the Caribbean, parents can whoop their children into line. In this country, they can't. Children take them to <laughs> take them to court <laughs> or call the cops when they're trying to discipline them. That's all. That's, that's a basic difference. There is a difference because the West Indian acts different, thinks different. Yeah. Right? To be honest, West Indian, for example, we work is concerned, right? Say it again? We work, the job is concerned. West mm -hmm. Indian love to work, right? And they do any type of work to earn money, right? Mm -hmm. The African American, as I noticed, they're sorry to say they're lazy. You think they're lazy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They, 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 they style fancy car, fast money, but they don't want to work for it, mm -hmm. and they want they want to do the job. So that's that's African Americans. Yeah. So what about West Indians? But I'm saying the West Indians are different. They yeah. do anything for work. Right? Yes, anything they do to get work, mm -hmm. and they work very hard. It just seems like a derogative word that's used to describe uh, what certain people think are unacceptable conditions for them to live in that other people manage to live in nonetheless. Yeah. I uh, happen to be a scholar of the Holocaust uh, and so to me ghetto obviously is the imposed restriction of people into a given place from which they're not allowed out. Welcome to my so, In America obviously ghetto means uh, hurting people of color or Latinos into a particular area. From the point of view of my scholarship, it means hurting Jews and uh, gypsies into um, certain enclosed areas in Europe. Uh, the, like the ghetto the place or like ghetto like the adjective? The adjective. I'm really happy that he knows that. Wait, yeah. both. Go ahead. The ghetto Go ahead. is like the hood. It's like the bad neighborhood. Sometimes it's a project, sometimes it's not. Uh, but it's like that. It's where people get killed and drug deals, stuff like that. So I feel like when people wear like, it shouldn't... It, so this is like the adjective? Just, 
Yeah, it like describes the way like people wear clothing. Like, um, like some of the big brands are like Fubu. They might say that's Stuff like that. It's like, it's not only like the clothes that you wear, but the way you wear them. Uh, the ghetto. No, I feel like the ghetto is like the third world country. Those are the ghettos or whatever. I'm somewhere where, I mean, because in anywhere, in any city, any state, there's a, there's a part of the city that's less fortunate. That's what everybody would view is the ghetto. And there's, you know, the, where everybody is struggling, the poor people, or whatever, they live in the ghetto or whatever. I feel like this is not, it's a neighborhood. It's a neighborhood. Everybody's struggling. Everybody's going through stuff. I struggle too, but I don't live in the ghetto. It's all they, circumstantial. Yeah, you never know how they treat a person. If you was like the prince or something or the president, they gonna find out for sure. But I really don't know. I, I would I do wanna say yes, but then I wanna say no. So I look at it like those were two great people, you know, who accomplished so much, even though, you know, white people might have looked might have not looked at it that way. They might have looked at it as if it was, you know, just rap or hip hop, but if it was you you automatically understand how how um that would have went down if it was Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt you know they would have and it was unsolved till this day they still you know they still got police officers on the case you know there so many mysteries go down unsolved and uh if it was if it was something like that then you know they wouldn't have let it go to look at that Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt no way they would have let it go <laughs> I look at it like a, a dude got murdered up the block but you know they don't. They didn't find his killer. It's just they look at another or oh, another black person dead, you know. So if that's the case, if Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt got murdered, you know, they would have been still asking us questions till this day. But it's it's not it's not uh, something that you gotta look at. It's something you gotta look at how how should I put this? You know, why do we get overlooked? You know, it's something to think about. Why we come? Why we get sloppy seconds when you know? In a small suburban neighborhood, they get the police officer. You know, you call the police. The police there in 15 minutes. You know what I mean? Instead of instead of us waiting an hour, hour and a half, to you actually see a squad car. And when the squad car do come, that ain't the squad car for you. So, you know, you gotta look at it like that. <laughs>